Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I will be telling you about key press event in WPF. Now in WPF we don't have the key press event for validating our input whether it is integer or something like that. In uh, Windows form application we do have this uh, key press event where we used to uh, you can say validate our input whether the person is typing num uh, numbers or he is typing uh, like using alphabetical characters and we have to validate on during the key press event. So in this what you can do is you can do that functionality on one event that is preview text input okay now in the moment I will show you the code let me show you the output now here this is the text box and this is the on-screen keyboard I will be using see if I am pressing any character it is not taking the input but if I press any number it is taking the input even I will be able to put that and uh, you can say uh, decimal sign and then I can input the value I can use the backspace but other than this I cannot use any other input even if I just oh sorry I just missed it if I try to shift and press any other number it is it will not take it will just accept the numbers now how I was able to achieve this is let me show you in a moment for this as I told you my text box is having one preview text input here I will generate the event then I will move into the event now in this I have divided uh, it into two parts first I have made this method one is is numeric the, uh, what this method is doing as we know we have only 10 uh, you can say numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and all the numbers are from with the combination of these so this uh, method what it will do it will take the input as a string and will try to parse it in the integer and if it is successfully uh, able to pass the int value into the integer it will return true otherwise it will return false so with this method I can detect whether the number is integer or not okay and what in this event is uh, in this event with this e I'm able to get what text the person has inputted now first thing to val uh, validate and you can say uh, here I am validating a float number you can say now how I am validating is I am saying if the text is not decimal and if the text is also not number then make this e dot handle equal to true now what this e dot handle does when I uh, tell uh, this event like it is already handled like we have handled this event then in actual the text is not uh, like this event is processed at the same moment and text is not committed now the person if the person press a then and we say like uh, a is not a decimal we know and a is not also numeric and uh, what we have to do is we are saying like we have already handled the event please don't go for the further changes uh, for the steps for uh, you can say committing the text so it will not proceed now here first thing I had to check is if it is not decimal and if it is not a number now second I have to check whether it is a decimal if it is a decimal then I have to check whether already there was a decimal present in the text or not for that I am using this you can say uh, I am converting sender to the text box and checking whether uh, there is a decimal already present or not if it is present then we should not be handling it again we, are, we are, will say like we have handled the event and it should not commit the decimal otherwise you will be have multiple decimal uh, within the text box so if let me comment okay let me show you how this event works let me run it and then I will show you one change now if I press G now if we go here in e dot text the uh, character I pressed is G so G is not decimal also when I am trying to call this method let me show you the output it is saying false now let us make one breakpoint in this method as well and let us go with this quick watch and show you okay now here we can see we are getting the false so let us go within the method now here the text is G I'm trying to parse it will not parse and it will turn false so my condition got true and now I am saying like yes I have handled the event don't proceed with committing the text so if I go and press F5 here my text will not come within the, uh, the text box now what if I press 4 now if I proceed again now 4 is not decimal as well as 4 is number and it is able to pass so it will not handle the event it will go the original way without handling so means it will handle by itself 
so uh, so it will commit the text within the text box now what if i press decimal now when i press the decimal it went into this condition now here i am checking whether my uh, decimal is already present or, uh, there or not so first thing which i need to do is first to see from sender i can get the text of the text box because event is means fired by text box so we can see now 4 is already there and i will say like whether or 4 is present within the text or not a uh, decimal is present within the text or not now decimal is uh, not present it is returning minus 1 so it will go on and uh, this condition will not get true and uh, like it will handle the uh, like you can say the default way now if i press decimal again now it will turn back into this one now as we know now this time decimal was already present within the text box so it should not accept now see here now for the decimal it shows like it is already on some index so means the decimal is already there so we will handle this event by ourselves instead of going with the default now with this event you can see you can validate your any integer or any float or decimal input so now as we know like we don't have complete replacement of key press event so this was related to when you are verifying the type of data whether the person is inputting right numbers or not and all but uh, if you have to validate the key inputs like whether he has pressed shift or not and other thing then i will say you should proceed with key down and key up event that is already present in here as well and in the you can say in our windows form application as well but for the sake of validating the data input this is the best one so i hope i have cleared my uh, uh, like I have cleared my example, but still if you have any question, like, then you can contact me. My name is Yogesh Mehla. My phone number is this. You can contact me directly my phone with my phone, uh, my email and Skype ID. I will be happy to help you. So stay connected. Keep watching uh, my videos and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.